It's time for the GizWiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1888, recorded Wednesday, June 15th, 2022. Dick takes charge! On this episode of the GizWiz, Dickie D gets his own foam lanch in the backyard. He also has some new wacky packs. I have a gadget that may stick on you, and Dickie D takes us to the gadget warehouse. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. 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 And here he is, our gadget Sherpa, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good. Get in the car and I'll drive you to the warehouse. <laughs> Take did you say the Sherpa, warehouse. right? Didn't you? I did. I was thinking Fomalanche, you know, Avalanche, oh, oh, a big okay. mountain. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I don't know okay. what goes on in my head. That was like five steps and I just expect everyone to understand. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> no problem. No problem. Um... How you anyway, been? Just, just, just before the show, we're talking that you were looking at the, the new um, Apple Mac. laptop. Yes, can't the MacBook you, Airs. Can't you, don't you have to buy it because it's a business thing? Oh, yeah. That's a good excuse. <laughs> it's it's, it's a write-off. an excuse. It's needed. Oh, yeah. I wonder, can, do you think I can review it on the show and then write it off? <laughs> you can certainly <laughs> review it on the show. I think uh, people would love that. Yeah, they look so nice. Another thing yeah. uh, that, yeah. I was try that I'm that i trying to stay away from. Well, we should say we're talking myself. about the new MacBook Air. We are. This is Mac a new MacBook just Air released, M2. Or it's not even. Yeah, not yet. released yet. Yeah. Announced. Right. Okay. Um, it's absurdly thin. and has a new um, design, too, which I, I really like. Um, but if you have the Apple card, they'll also do financing at 0%. APR and so it like breaks up you know it's like a thousand two hundred dollars for the for the cheapest model it breaks that into like a hundred and ten dollars a month um which for a laptop is not that bad no um, not that bad at all and well, so you, you just have to make sure that before the last payment another one doesn't come out <laughs> because then you're really that's about what then happens. Then you have, yeah, that is about then you're, what happens. I think, so I did that with the MacBook Air M1, and I think it was two, I think I've had that laptop for two years. But, I mean, I gotta hand it to Apple. I've had that for two years, and back in the day, a laptop that was still going after two years was pretty good. And I have, that thing isn't slowed down at all. It is still, I still run Photoshop on it, Premiere, do all my emails, web surfing. That thing is still lightning fast. Um, and that's kind of one of the reasons I... <laughs> so hesitant to buy the new one is because oh, see, my yeah. two-year-old one is perfect. It's it's great. Um, which, you know, it does kind of speak to Apple's um, quality when it comes to to computers. Yeah. Um, well, you know, you could... Chip. Yeah. Why don't you just leave it on the table near the edge and <laughs> put the cats on the table. I need to buy, I need to take insurance out on my laptop. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But the thing, the problem with insurance at the very top, it says, do you have cats? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Or, or have you seen five. the new M2 laptop? Because yeah. if you have, it's a little suspicious. A little suspicious. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to find an excuse uh, to get it because I have no reason to get it. In oh, you know, well, you're uh, in the business. That that's that's if I need something. I, I found the right I profession. Me. You know, I love gadgets. I got. Yeah, I have a little absolutely. bit of Leo in me. You know, I just gotta buy that thing. I just gotta yeah. buy it. Just well, to, there is a man who oh, buys <laughs> pretty much everything. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but, um, I am so excited, by the way. I, my gadget for the crappy corner is a weird one. I don't even know 
if it's a gadget. But I think it is so cool. And oh, oh, oh. Uh, there's a real, the demo turned out better than I expected. So I'm excited to show it to you. Oh, right, well then let's let's start the show with uh, my first gadget and we'll get to yours faster. <laughs> nice. <Okay. laughs> a while back we saw the foam lunch at a press event. Uh, uh, uh. And we did a video of it there and I sent a copy of the video to the company and they said, "Would you like to try one?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they sent a foam lunch from foam foam mania and they spell foam f-o-m and we're going to unbox it and then we're going to see what it needs and fire it up and make foam uh um what is that <laughs> not much to unbox Ta-da! wow ladies and gentlemen i will now sing feelings Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, you know what? It's not. It's really not much. <laughs> Look at this. It's the box. It's the machine. It's the foam. Two, bag, two bags of foam. Okay. So it's three bags of foam. Foamy stuff. And... Being a game, my guess is the instructions are going to be in English. They are the Foma Lynch. Um, wow, we need six D batteries. Okay. Ooh. And we have to mix the foam concentrate with water. And then we will come back. And, ooh, you know, when is she supposed to fill the base? Oh, I guess maybe you do. Maybe that's where the stuff goes. So you do fill the base, okay? It says unscrew the base. And then you mix the stuff in here. And then the two hoses go in there to suck it up. The 6D batteries go in the back. But we'll have to stop to do that because you need the dreaded Phillips screwdriver uh, to do that. So we yes. filled the base with water and we put in one pouch of the sudsy stuff. And then it says start it up. We put in six ba uh, d, uh, d batteries, not included. Four screws. Four screws what? to put the batteries in. Yes. And then start it up and it, oh, says I guess it takes about waterproof. 45 seconds for the machine to crank up. Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! Oh my! Oh! This is great! <laughs> Foam party! I feel like I'm behind a waterfall. <laughs> oh, this is neat! So, a couple of ideas. One is smoke coming out of the chimney of your train or <laughs> a way to easily decorate oh yeah for the holidays i've always wanted to frost this my plants this is really a lot of fun doesn't take much to entertain us bye <laughs> that looks like it, so much fun it's really neat um, so cool. it's 32 it's I think the list is uh 39.99 it's 32 dollars at target now you have to figure uh d batteries I looked on Amazon they're about a buck 50 so you're in for another 10 bucks for the batteries oh, yeah um but oh my gosh it puts out a ton of foam and you get three uh three reload uh, three bags of of uh, foam stuff and uh, it, it, you know, it didn't take 45 seconds. It took like 15 seconds to <laughs> right. start putting out foam. It's just a lot of fun. Did you feel like the foam was like had any residue or like you? It probably, didn't. It didn't. Wow. It didn't. No, because wow. uh, we did a. Uh, oh, 
uh, I'm doing a, a, a bit with ABC tomorrow. And I said, you know, let's do it in my backyard because I'm not sure. Well, first of all, I thought we'll just, we'll just attract 10,000 kids if we do it in the park. Oh, right. um, but I was also afraid that we were going to leave a lot of foam all over the place. But I went out an hour later and there was no foam. It just dissolves into the air. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. That is so cool. I uh, I think uh, kids and adults will just love this. The batteries are literally the worst part of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. D Four batteries. That's not easy. Four yeah. screws. Uh, yeah, that's, that's. But then uh, you're in for a lot of fun. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very cool. Um, by the time Very you add the batteries, it's it 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 still comes to like forty bucks, which doesn't seem a lot because it's a really fun thing. Yeah, definitely. That is so fun. Okay, cool. Um, okay, uh, photo, uh, photo number two. Gadget <laughs> number two is... When you're a gadget person, you think you can never have too many spare batteries. You can never have too many cables. You can never have too many external battery charges. Or can you? <laughs> can you believe this? I had them all over the house. I had some on the boat. And I just started organizing all of them in one place. And I thought, I have a lot. So that meant there's only one thing to do, and that is buy another one. <laughs> and why? Okay. Because Johnny Jet had talked about this, or actually written about it. And I thought, wow, this looks neat. It is uh, INIU, I-N-I-U. Power delivery, 22 and a half watts, a 20,000 milliamp charger. Charge new iPhones up to 58% in just 30 minutes. And of course, the 2022 refined version. Had to get it. Okay. Um, and, and while I'm and, doing this, Chad, oh yeah, think and of, also a three-year warranty. I, I don't okay. think I've ever heard that before. Three-year warranty. Uh, so the thing is, does it come with a charge? And we'll be able to tell because one of the things I like is digital readout. Okay. Oh. So instead of having four LEDs and you know twenty-five percent, fifty percent, you'll know exactly. Uh, comes in a little. Oh, that is open case way here. smaller than I expected. Ooh. Oh, one thing I can see now that I'm not crazy about. Oh, no, that's a flashlight. Okay. And we'll see what there's a welcome guide. My 20,000 is and like... What else do we get in here? At least 20% bigger than that. Oh, a little carry case. All right. There's something in here. Oh. The charging cable. All right, so as I've written down here, so it's uh, power delivery 3.0, and I forgot what QC is, but it's QC 4.0. Quick charge. And uh, IOU, nothing, <laughs> right? Um, 5,500 reviews, just about 80% gave it five stars. Uh, and now if I only knew how to turn it on. Oh, this looks like a button. Let's hold that in. All right. And USB-C in and out. Okay, so this is the first charger I bought that has that. USB-C in and out. Now, with everything I've told you, what would your guess be? As to the price, uh, okay. thirty bucks. 40, 40, oh, I was gonna say forty-five. All right, I'm gonna be my guess. I think that is really neat. It's strange. Uh, N E U I N I U, and it's the power bank B I or B one B five. I guess B uh, B one B five. So now I have yet another <laughs> external charger to carry with me, but I like it. Yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah. I put on my postage scale, so it's 12 point something ounces, like uh, 12.6 ounces. 
Uh, but 30 bucks. Yeah. It, that's it really feels price. nicely built. I like that little carry case that comes with it and a little LED flashlight. And I like to see in and out. Huh. Hey, one second. I'm getting some weird errors on Amazon. Let me see if it's... Oh. Uh, we're sorry. An what error has occurred. What is going Please on? Reload this page. Eh? It literally loaded before because you told me to you know guess the thing so i closed out of it i was like oh i don't want to guess the price i don't want to see the price right <laughs> so oh. i closed out of it and now oh it's gosh. not working very strange just uh i can look it up on mine that's weird anyone chat else room anybody else have it up on the screen i link it in the chat room um but here, I can see some of the reviews, at least. Oh, no, mine came up. Yeah, it's still uh, $29.99. Sounds like yeah. it's, a, it's a me issue. Um, but that's great. In and out. Um, yeah. Not not huge. No. A good, good size. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a flashlight. What more flashlight. could you <laughs> What more could you want? Yeah. And you can charge three gadgets at one time. Yeah. That is so funny that you have that <laughs> error. I don't know what the error is. It, it's just formatted weird. I can still yeah. add it to my cart, but in a weird way. Um, I, don't, I don't understand what's going on here. Anyway. That, anyway. Go. Okay. N-I-N-U. If you're trying to figure out how to spell any U. N-I-N-U. N-I. Wait. I N I U. I U. There you go. I N I U. Dyslexics should never have. Uh, I don't. It says I'm not signed in, but I've never had that. I've been not signed in on many products. Um, anyway, uh, Scooter X says it is twenty dollars on eBay. Um, Brand I would. New I would still say probably Amazon's. The maybe the better option because you do want to make sure you have the updated 2022 revision, yeah, all that stuff. Um, because, uh, yes, because I looked for reviews online, and three reviews I glanced at said that the flashlight is separate and it's a little USB flashlight that plugs into one of the ports. And then when I ordered mine, I'm thinking, there's no flashlight in the box. And then I read and saw, oh, the flashlight's built in. So this is probably one of the few times that when it says it's a 2022 model, it is. You're right. Yeah. Also, you, know, you can save 10% with a coupon. Whoa! So that's you new. get three bucks off. I mean, that, that, maybe, maybe that's, maybe they were. Updating the website when you went there. Yeah, they were implementing that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I think it's five bucks more if you want the white, but I'm not sure. Oh, really? Here, let's, let's invest. When, when I bought mine, <clears throat> I clicked on white, and it came up as five dollars more. Yeah, it's thirty-two dollars and no yeah. coupon, but the black is. Oh, that's uh, right. Okay. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. That's awesome. Okay, very cool. Nice portable. Pretty charger. good. Um, okay, and my third gadget is Wacky Packs. Let's it's take a been peek. almost two years since we talked about Wacky Packs. Okay, Wacky Packs. Uh, I'm amazed that Mad Magazine did not produce these on their own. Okay, because I have done so many Mad takeoffs on on products, but Wacky Packs. This is Wacky Pack version three. So they are tiny boxes that look like a real product. Like, I guess this is Vicks. And then since okay. the camera was so bad, I just did put in uh, a, a still. Yeah. So yes. it's Yix <laughs> Meditating Cough Drops. So these we are recommend it. So that's the takeoff on Vicks. Uh, so let's. Uh, Weeze it. Moonshine <laughs> Wheeze it, take off on cheese it, whiskey flavored crackers, eat yourself mm -hmm. drunk. Mm -hmm. I think kids have a lot of fun opening these up. This one I know really well. 
Goon Man's. Okay, the, this I know well. We use this a lot. It's Goon Man's mushy loony <laughs> noodles for people who don't I use think it their doesn't noodles. Get more fun because kids don't look at labels. Like oh, that. you know, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah. It might be better for uh, better for adults. And this is. Not sh- not Dunkin' Donuts, Shrunken Donuts. This is donuts. a Wacky Packs 3, okay? I think they did the Wacky pink Packs that they 1. Use. I guess we missed a year. Uh, let's take a look at one of the one more of these. This- uh, instead of wash and dry, it's wash and fly. <laughs> Little towels that ghosts use to wash their sheets. It scares dirt away, and it's approved by <laughs> grave diggers. <laughs> This really is juicy like fruit. the Man Magazine. <laughs> yes, fruits. it is. Jerky yeah. fruits. <laughs> Jerky Jerky fruits. fruits. I didn't do a close up. Of course, you can tell from Boy, the label oh, what it was. I had to uh, use a magnifying uh, glass. Oh, some what of the a details. junkyard candy! Okay, so the candy shaped like little cars. Cut right. Wax paper. Mm-hmm. Can you see it in there? Mm-hmm. Cut wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, not badly priced. The, this is the Series Three. Uh, so the series three is a three pack and it's $19 and I guess it's on a new side cause only six people rated it and, uh, five, but again, it's only six people who rated it. It was 4.7 out of five stars. Up because, well, I guess you'd need to get the joke and also I guess you don't want someone to try and try and eat them or use them. <laughs> That's it. Wacky packages three. That is so funny. Oh, and, man. And evidently, these have been around, not not the wacky packs, but these funny labels, they've been around for years because they're all over eBay at, at ridiculous prices. So making three-dimensional packages, now I think this is year three for that. But this is one of the very early ones where it was sort of just a pa- uh, a flat. So this it's hard to see. It's wind days. It's an axe in a bottle. So it's to break window to get the axe out. Uh, so they were just stickers. And then they went into the three-dimensional things. And now there are 82 of the three-dimensional little that's wacky crazy. packages isn't it funny yeah yeah that's insane what an interesting and, business <laughs> yeah it's from it's from tops gum and i'm looking down at the logo it's also part of um that si logo uh, what is it oh world smallest oh Remember we did some world's smallest yeah. video games and yes. uh, yeah, Super Impulse. That that that's what the SI is. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I guess Super Impulse ended up buying tops. Yeah. The, you know the Or the other way people. around. The yeah, 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 the other way. It could be the other way around. That is so funny. <laughs> um oh, I'm looking it up. Um Yeah, oh, okay. That is so- it's just also hilarious that they're, you know, what do you do, you know, at the cocktail party? I want to make normal stuff small. <laughs> I did. That's very You know, funny. all those other things that you're used to using? Yeah, our business makes them small. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't have a laptop with an M2 chip in it that would cost me just like $9. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, we had that on. Yeah. The, the Atari. Tiny Uno, Tiny Operation. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they just have a little itty. You know, it's amazing because their factory only takes up 200 square feet, you know? That's very funny. Then, But they give employment to more little people than <laughs> any other <laughs> employer oh in, in the gosh. country. Yeah, this Isn't is crazy. Isn't that a riot? They just work with so many companies that is that is crazy so here let's see our brands world's smallest world's coolest barbie hot wheels micro toy box wacky packet packages mini, yeah tiny arcade tiny arcade, arcade we've done micro arcade they have like four different arcade companies 
tilt. R- Rubit's electronics. What is f- furbinator? Furpinator. Furpinator. Oh, let's see. What is furpinator? The is gross a- out game. Is it a gooey stuff? What does it do? Are you? Does it burp? Okay. Well, I it's guess a, the way it's you get the Simon, picture. but with flatulence. Yes. <laughs> That's that brand. And then uh, Precious Prince. Precision. Precision RBS. Oh, that that's rubber band system. That that was a oh. separate company years ago. I guess they merged with them too. Oh wow. Yeah, That's it was so like you you put like 30 rubber bands on this gun and then you fired them one after the other. Boy, that company has really Yeah, they have a lot of products. branched out. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, Tetris wow. Tilt. Anyway, Wacky okay. brands. <laughs> Lots of brands. <laughs> That's crazy. And Do you think they make one... wacky brand minis of their oh, own they, brands? They should. They you should. know, and the, this is Flashlance, the game, the memory game. <laughs> uh, mini. That's the Flashlance, the movie. <laughs> in in oh, 3D. That is so funny. This is okay. one thing I could figure out. Something delight fruit cocktail. It, I can't even get it in focus. Anybody know of a company, something delight that made fruit cocktail? This is fright cocktail, hmm. but something delight fruit cocktail. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, if they come see. out with a little laptop for you, uh, my guess is it wouldn't be more than twelve dollars. <laughs> I feel like that that can looks so uh, iconic. It does, like. doesn't it? But yeah. uh, I don't know why it won't go into focus at all, but that's all right. Del Monte? I don't think so. No, uh, it's something delight. I seem to remember that there was a brand, something delight, but uh, oh, the brand is called, it's just called Fruit Delight. Oh, Fruit Delight. Delight. Uh, oh, okay. And they're calling it Fright the light. I thank see. you. That uh, who who did that? Chumley. Thank you. So it's fruit the light, and they're calling it fright the light. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, now see if they would have hired you as a as the comedy <laughs> pun writer, we wouldn't have this issue. You you're you got oh the experience my. they need. Uh, to write these wacky pack mini oh, brands. The, the fun thing with the mad things is that they could be very elaborate. And uh, as opposed to doing takeoffs on the package, we did takeoffs on the actual ad. And I think one of the funniest ones that I did, I, I, I just broke myself up writing it, was it was called Stop It A, Stop it a Sneezing. And... The real brand name, I think, is Stop Sneezing. But I remember reading, uh, writing the directions, and it says, uh, take four pills every four hours. And then if that doesn't work, take eight pills every two hours. And if that doesn't work, take the whole bottle uh, every one hour. <laughs> and then it says, if you can drive a nail into your forehead, using a two by four, perhaps you are taking too many of these pills. <laughs> and, and then the side effects was, um, your fingernails may fall off. You could lose your hair. Your heart may go in reverse for several hours. <laughs> and in rare cases, your heart may turn into a second liver. Anyway, it was, <laughs> Paragraphs or so, in and the art department reduced it down. <laughs> like, so this is too much. Yes, and then it said, "Email us for the rest of the side effects." Um, <laughs> anyway, it was, it was great fun uh, writing that. Oh, anyway, wacky packs, which brings us to, ladies and gentlemen, 
Oh, the thing we've been waiting it, for. But you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. This gadget can fit in your pocket. It can Ooh. even fit in your wallet. It is as thin as a credit card. I'm very excited. This is excited. Summer Gadgets. Your theme is Summer Gadgets, Summer right? Gadgets. Yes, yeah, summer, summer Gadgets, gadgets. Okay. are the theme. So I recorded a wow. video about it. So let's check it out. Now, I'm very interested in this. I think this is really cool. I think it's very cool. So here we go. Hey, Diggy D. We are back at it again with another summertime gadget. And today, we are taking a look at this, Spot My UV. With everyone being outside in the summer, it's obviously a good idea to use sunscreen. And this little gadget should help you know when it is time to reapply your sunscreen. So here is how it works. These are little stickers. So this uh, pack comes with 16 of them. And these Ooh. stickers are purple in color. You apply this to your skin and then apply sunscreen over the sticker, over the little dot. And if you have the right amount of sunscreen, they should turn clear. Then as your sunscreen wears off, or maybe you have some bad sunscreen, or maybe you didn't apply enough, then it will turn purple in the UV sun. So uh, I have some sunscreen here uh, and let's apply the dot. Actually, let me, I can probably just do this right now. Looks like I pull it off. So the packaging has this little triangle um, to help me kind of manage it. And then I can grab that and just add it to my skin there and then pull off the triangle underneath. Get rid of that. There we go. And then I should be able to apply some sunscreen if I can unlock my sunscreen. There we go. Uh, the directions do say wait 30 seconds for your sunscreen to uh, set in before uh, you rub it. And I don't think it's gonna change color quite yet. I think it needs to go out into the sun uh, before it changes to clear. But I'm also gonna go ahead and add another dot to myself over here uh, without any sunscreen to see if it stays purple and the one with sunscreen oh, that's good. Uh, changes. So um, we'll see each other outside. Okay, so we're outside. I'm gonna take some steps into the sun uh, to see what happens here. And that one does actually seem to be turning transparent. Oh, it is, look at that. While this dot without the sunscreen is staying purple, um, which is great. So it's actually happening like right in front of my eyes here. That's awesome. Um, and it's nice that it's transparent when, uh, you know, I'm protected because I would feel a little silly with a purple dot on my skin if I was hanging out <laughs> all day. Um, now, I used SPF 50, so it will be probably a very long time before this turns back to purple. But uh, that's giving me a really good indication that it's working because the one with sunscreen is almost completely clear. The one without is purple so i know that i am not protected that is some crazy stuff i, I don't understand how that actually works <laughs> i i have no idea how that would work at all um, that works so that works really nice that is really really cool now what if i was just to say oh i've been doing stuff all day i'm gonna just try to rub off the sunscreen i'm not even sure how effective that would be not sure this one has gotten a little bit lighter of a purple, even though there's no sunscreen on it, um, than, uh, than, than it was originally, but still, it's, it's not the same as, uh, the completely transparent-ish one. Now it's, it is coming that, back. Yeah, it's starting to go back to that purple. That is a right? really crazy gadget. Uh, really, really cool. Back to you guys in the studio. Okay, and that, that's what I'm saying. That demo, I didn't expect it to work. <laughs> in front of my eyes yeah, yeah it's great like that um so they're not cheap um because you get 16 in here and it costs 16 bucks so it's about a dollar a sticker um, yeah but if you save yourself from burning, burning. exactly yeah a exactly. buck a day 
Yeah, exactly. How much is yeah. the uh, 32 pack? Let's see. $25. So oh, it drops the down a lot. 48 pack, $35. So you can, uh, you know, get in bulk. Here's their website, spotmyuv.com. Um, I just think that that is just so darn cool. Uh, so their 12 pack is $13. 20 pack. Uh, oh, I was like, <laughs> is it also $12? Um, so their website also has uh, some some options yeah. there as well. Okay. How does it work? I wonder how if they let you know. Oh, no, it's just like how to apply it, which we saw. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I saw these. I originally saw these on TikTok, and uh, the people were saying that, that it was working for them. Um, so if you've been out and about and your dot starts to change back into purple, it is time to reapply sunscreen. So there you go. Spot My UV is the company. Um, Very nice. Yeah. And with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadgets Warehouse. Barn. Okay, so I we're going to take a closer look at that box of phone charges because uh, there's some fun stuff in there. Okay. Talking about battery charges, I went to the studio and pulled out all the battery charges I could find in different bins. Uh -uh. Okay. And without half looking, I have 19 of them. All right. So since this is Gadget Warehouse, uh, I went back and found one of the earliest ever. Did you know Duracell made a line <laughs> of battery charges? Wow. Oh, my God. Look. It lit up. Wow. I, oh, have to look. And this, this is old, old, old. Okay. Does it come with a cable? Uh, with what? Uh, cable so, in 2005. Uh, it, it was a wow. micro, uh, not a micro, mini USB oh. to, to charge this. And it was 1150 and, uh, million. Let's see what else we have. So these were big. I think Chad and I bought a lot of these. This is my charge, charger device. And you could lay this, uh, if you had one of those pads, this would charge your power pack and your phone. And then you could take this with you. And then I bought a bunch of knockoffs. This was 10,000. This was 20,000. They did, they weren't sure. Okay. <laughs> because I remember the description is very funny. It said 10,000 or 20,000 charger. <laughs> so I guess they, they forgot to mark them. Um, they're both the same. And I, I did I weigh them. I, I figured the heavier one, one is the 20,000. This I bought for the boat. Okay. Totally waterproof charger. All right. And the gift should be in here. Yeah. Okay. Charging in and charging out. And don't know how many milliamps that was. But this, uh, I know some, now. I'm it's sure someone's still making a waterproof version. Oh, I guess I, oh, I, I guess I have a maxi waterproof version and a, and a <laughs> mini waterproof version. Um, this one was good looking, but one of the things I hate. You need the pin connector to charge this. I have no idea where that connector is. Um, this from my charge. Yeah, my, my charge made, made a, a lot of nice stuff. My charge had a whole line of battery charges with the plug built in. Okay, that's one of them. And this is another one. This one is, see the plug is... Fold a fold out plug here. Yeah. And this one had micro USB, and I bet you that's uh, 
lightning. Okay, lightning connector. And uh, I guess it has a negative charge in it now. It says, I'm dead, I'm red. dead, I'm red. I'm red None and dead. <laughs> I haven't used them in a long time. I uh, have no idea. This must have been a giveaway. It looks like it has a flashlight in it. This was weird. This is way, way old. Okay, <laughs> so instead of having a charger, you this took is, I think, the for phone a battery phone. out of your phone. You put it in here. It was piggybacked with another battery, which just Looks sitting like there seems swollen. Seems to be expanding. Uh -oh. Yes, it is swollen. Um, and then it came with a new back. Okay, so that your phone would have double the battery power. And then you would just keep replacing the, uh, this battery when it went dead. You didn't have to throw the whole thing out. And anything else exciting in here? There's one other interesting one. Oh, this one is I thought this was going to be the charging cable, but you just stick it into a computer. Okay. All right. Into USB. Have a little plug down here. So instead of having to carry a, uh, instead of a plug built in, you just stick it into a. Thing. Oh, it's got some life in it. Wow. Well, it's like half charged. Anyway, the life of external battery charges, there's probably, they probably go back at least 15 years. That's it. Six gadget warehouse. I have to find a place to recycle these. <laughs> now, I, I also found what I thought is interesting. I found a little video of me on, I don't think it was you and I, it was 2015. Were you doing this show then? Oh, gosh. Uh, there's a chance. No, I that was. would be. I think you've been doing it for seven years, right? Yeah. Oop, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, uh, um, this was before. So see my background now. Yeah. So this is before Mad closed. Right. And so now we'll watch a minute of that video and what's behind me back then. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Medist writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Oh, uh, waiter, there's an all-terrain uh, power charger in my drink, okay? Well, there really is. That is so funny. Uh, a few minutes ago, uh, Dennis... Where's all the memorabilia? You just got work that behind in you, that it glass looks of like. Water. I say forever. <laughs> all right. Well, this is what I we're mean, talking about. We're talking about my charge, all-terrain, so portable chargers. And, you know, there are tons of charges on the market. But if you are roughing it and you're really going out in the wild or in the surf oh, this is one or of the neat in things. the mountains. I, I thought there were no dials on this. And you want something this. that is shockproof <laughs> and waterproof, uh, this is the guy. And they make it in a 3,000 milliamp model. This is the 6,000 milliamp model. It comes with a little uh, carry strap down there. And let me just open this up here. So this model has two 2.1 amp charges. And then in the side of it here, even though it looks like there's nothing there, if you actually press on this, it'll show you that this Through one is fully rubber. charged. And we thought it'd be fun uh, early this afternoon. I threw this in a, in a glass of water. Anyway, we can and, go out uh, there. I'm not going to bother charging anything. And... What we're going to do is... Oh, my God. I mean... ah! uh, that is but so funny. <laughs> no wonder it took months to convert that to what I have back here now. Well, it was worth it. It looks what you got yeah. now. It looks good. Yeah, no, I, I, it's good. great. I like it. In the wilds of New York City. <laughs> That's funny. Man, right, so, you have I think you have yes. many more chargers than I do. I uh I I don't think I have oh, you don't that have... many. Oh, you, oh okay. I mean I do I know that I have my old twenty thousand milliamp one, which must be like 
seven years old at this point. Oh my god! I mean, it's very old. Um, then I have like two that are kind of my daily uh, go-to, and they're big as well. And then I've just kind of like gotten rid of anything smaller. <laughs> if it's not twenty thousand, it's not worth it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, well, I, I I found that when you go to trade shows. It's best, uh, actually, if, if you go to a trade show, there's usually three to four hours. And so if you can stick it out, it's good to go early because the press tends to run directly to food. So if you go early for the, about the first 20 minutes to a half hour, you can do lots of interviews because the press is eating and drinking. Yeah. Yeah. And you can you can do uh, and everyone's fresh. Everyone's like ready to talk. Yes. It's not the, yes. The yes. end of the day where they've said the same thing 800 times. Yes. Um, and the yeah. other thing is to stay to the very end. Well, there's, there's a the bad thing about staying to the very end is you see something you like and you go, is there a product sample available? And they look under the table and it goes, oh, no, we gave everything away. Uh, email us and we'll we'll send you one. Or you can go to a table and they'll say, do you have one of these? And, and, and I'll go, no. They say, here, take one. We don't want to pack this up. Do you have any friends? <laughs> right. Yeah, well, right. my co-host. Yeah, we'll take one for him too. Right. And I remember once someone gave me, this is a long time ago, a clock radio. Uh, and I said, well, thank you. And they said, don't thank me. I would have to carry that home. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yep. So I just want that to happen late, with all the TVs they have there. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or like an electric bike sometime, you know. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. I'm afraid they don't do quite do that. I wonder if I can fit that on my airplane uh on the way. Yeah. Do you think I could well, check you know, an electric bike? Uh Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, next time go to an Apple event and hang around the the uh the laptop. Are you going to pack that up? <laughs> exactly. You're gonna lug that. You're gonna lug. Oh, uh, you're gonna lug that thing. It can literally fit in an envelope, sir. Are you gonna take that all the way back to your, uh, you know, yeah. hotel? Yeah. I think that you might not need it. Yeah. Do you want to bother sticking that in an envelope? <laughs> I mean, I can take it without the envelope. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that is. Oh, great. anyway, yes. If you want to make a video, anything to do with a gadget, we would love it. Okay. Uh, one to three minutes, just make sure uh, you shoot horizontal form that we can see the gadget and hear your voice. You can be in it. That's wonderful. If you're shy, just show us the gadget. Anything to do with the gadget, old, new, um, something you bought and hated, show us why you hate it. Maybe you'll save someone the trouble and money of buying that same gadget. Uh, put it up on YouTube. You can click on listed when you upload it, and that way only people with the URL will be able to see it. And send us that URL, mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv, and you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine if you live in the U.S. and most of Canada. Um, so far, uh, ca Canadian mail has been accepting. I don't know why. If you print it online, it was eleven to thirteen dollars to mail a mad. Whoa! And then I read, if you use six forever stamps, you can mail something up to I think it was five ounces, which is just about what a mad is. Um, so if you live in the U.S. and Canada, you can get the current issue of Mad Magazine. If you live anywhere else, I will sign a now 40-year-old Alfred E. Newman photo, uh, make a high-res image, and email that to you, okay? So mail at gizwiz.tv. We're showing 99% of everything we get, okay? That's it. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. With that, let's move on to the letter. Okay, so Paul C. is referring to 
couple of weeks ago when I was returning for the second time a microphone uh, system that I had bought and was wondering if Amazon would let you return it more than twice. It turned out I haven't gotten the refund yet, but when I said I was returning it, only two options came up, talk to tech support or get a refund. Okay, so they there was no offer of getting that product free for a third time. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve C has a different uh, result. Hey, Dickie D, I don't know if it's a record or not. I have returned four large solar panels four times Whoa. to Amazon because UPS keeps breaking them. The first two times, they just tossed them off a truck into my driveway. So I took them back to the nearest store that handles UPS shipments. The third and fourth time, I was able to catch them leaving broken panels, and I was able to refuse shipment. I never could find a way to get them unbroken by UPS from Amazon. <laughs> However, I found a warehouse that sells them a lot cheaper. I just drive over there and pick them up. But these are probably the ones taken from Walmart stores that were catching fire. Um, I returned smaller things to Knowles, uh, uh, Kohl's, and they've given me several of those $5 discount yeah. coupons. But since I don't shop there, I haven't used them. Haven't heard about any stores around here selling piles of returned stuff. But there's an auction in Phoenix where they offer uh, auction off larger items at high bid auctions. Uh, he said that they had a, currently had a 3D printer for $80. That offer ended. But if you go to highbid.com, it seems that you can put in your zip code oh. and then put in how many miles. Like I just put in 10024 uh, and, and, um, uh, and, and then 25 miles. And it turns out that there were several auctions. Oh, there's a no, pizzeria I mean, going out of business. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh! She said Bay. Oh a my fast food word. restaurant. Bay Ridge, where I was born. Oh, they're selling all my furniture. <laughs> Baker's Antiques. Uh, yeah. Uh, it looks like art. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> food companies going out. Yeah. Of business. Cornwall, um, New York, that's pretty far up the river. Yeah. Best uh, Buy! Wait, no, this is bestbuyauctioneers.com. This doesn't look like oh, Best Buy. Oh, that's entry. Um, man. So are these actual, uh, you know, with an auctioneer? Or do you think you this, know, I, you this know, is... You know, I, I don't Oh, look, this know. one's an online auction only. Oh, there you go. Uh, for that one. This next one... It looks like it might happen on a specific Oh, oh it time. looks like, yes. Oh, well, look, you can click absentee, I guess. I guess. Um, that's so weird. It's, mail it to me. What does absentee even mean? Huh. Oh, I think, oh, Chad, I think, you just bought, I think you just bought a horse. I, from, <laughs> darn it. I, I think you just bought Roy Rogers' horse. <laughs> Oh, gosh. The bidding is open, it says here. Let's see what this Baker's Antiques and Auction. Oh, okay. Yes, it's from awesome. June 11th to June 17th. Do I need to register? It looks like I need to register to bid. Oh, oh I may need yeah. to just... Oh, I see, I see. G give me You're any. not registered. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, but that huh. said, this is an internet-only auction. That this is a fun crazy. place to go. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so, uh, there... I was able to find some local auctions back when I had just moved. Gosh, you just want to buy a ton of silver? <laughs> what? That's a lot of silver. Holy moly. Um, silver bars? That just, Ooh. I would just want, that just looks so impressive. I just want a ton it of silver. It does. Can I tip you in silver, my sir? <laughs> um... <laughs> But and the uh, high bid is only two hundred fifty dollars. I doubt that that's gonna stay. No, right? no. I mean, there's some more silver. 
250 bucks. Wow. I wonder if it, it must say how much it weighs. Uh, is that 100 ounces of pure silver? 100 ST. Getting notice. Lot. One. T t ten, oh, ounces? 10 ounces? Oh, I think it is. Oh, it's one. One of one the bars, I bet. Oh, oh yes, I, I see. I see. I see. It's a okay. ten ounce bar. They've, they've bar. showed okay. all of them. Does it have chocolate in the middle? <laughs> I would hope so. I'm hungry. <laughs> Chocolate's getting expensive. Um, like so, what is ten ounces of silver worth? Um, uh, price. Here we go. Ten ounces is worth. I thought Google would just tell me. It doesn't look like. Uh, just gonna tell me this. Of these websites, looks like 250 bucks. Uh, so that's like the going rate. Um, oh, okay. For that silver there. But that's a starting bid, right? Yeah. Well, I guess that's probably what it's at now. Let's see. Now, there's okay. five. There's been five okay. bids on it. I would guess that with silver, it was so, a precious metal that you know the worth of it. It's yeah. probably not going to go much higher than what the actual metal is worth. Oh, but I'm okay. sure that there's deal. I'm sure that no one, need, not a lot of people need a hand slicer from you know the place that went out of business. So you probably get it some good um, deals. A good deals, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so cool. if you want to, if you want to play, it's it's high bid uh, H I. B I D high bid dot com. So Steve in Phoenix, Arizona, thank you for telling us about this. And that you can some things you can return to Amazon for four times. And that's crazy. They probably see solar panel and figured, oh, how many times <laughs> well, how many times we know UPS break stuff. So. Yeah. Or you know, how many times does it take uh before UPS finally takes care of the products. Yes, <laughs> you know, yes exactly. Yeah, no, solar panels that aren't cheap. A, I can't imagine. That'd be a good, it's like a good thing. You broke what? Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good. I want to say thank you to our patrons over Patreon.com/slash/Gizwiz. Thank you guys so 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 much for your support. If you enjoy the Gizwiz, please consider giving back over Patreon.com/slash/Gizwiz. We have 204 patrons, and we really appreciate them all. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Uh, you can also give via PayPal. Head on over to gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab, and uh, there'll be a PayPal link there on the website. Speaking of the website, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, except for... The next show, it'll be on Wednesday. Next show is <laughs> on Wednesday. Uh, there's an update there at the top of the website that'll let you know if we have any schedule changes. But you can join and chat along with the chat room and uh, have a great time. If you missed the show live taping, uh, you can see any of our previous episodes there on the website, gizwiz.tv. If you head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Sticky D's website where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you need to find the link back to Amazon or any uh, press releases that we talk about, gizwiz.biz is the place to do it. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? Right there on the sidebar, that's the What the Heck Is It uh, spot. And this is the gadget, the whole gadget. Nothing but the gadget. What is that gadget? Uh, this is um, obvious to me that this is uh, Guppy's motorcycle. Uh, a little claymation guy. I think I'm saying his name right. I can't remember if that's his actual name. Um, but there you go. Uh, that's what that is. If you think you know what this is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Six Mad Magazines for correct answers. Twelve Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Gumby, not Guppy. Oh, Guppy Gumby. Is oh, okay. <laughs> Guppy is a fish. I think, <laughs> I, I don't know. Yes, exactly it is. A Guppy is a fish. <laughs> what that is. Um, thanks so much for watching The Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>